Hello and welcome back. Okay, on to the next project. Uh, this one's been sitting since uh, last, I guess, November when I picked it up. Um, doing a bit of uh, walk around at the dump and uh, came across this and thought I'd get it ready. Um, we'll see if I can actually even fix it. Um, here coming up summer uh, something I never really owned I think before had a basic version uh, but here we'll show you what it is so it's a master built uh, smoker um, in somewhat dilapidated condition Just brace here and there these things don't really worry me too much uh, but she looks like she was dragged up from the bottom of the sea. She is filthy. Controls are a bit munted. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, she has got a foul smell. Um, right look at the back. Um, Where's a model number? I think. I don't know if you can even read that. Somewhere on there, I think it's a model number. Barely readable. The French side, I think it might be better readable. It's an older model. Um, cords being cut, as usually they are. And they head to the dump. But I think the first thing I'm going to do. They seem like a fairly basic uh, piece of equipment, element, controls, I guess it has timer and stuff in it, but yeah, not a lot to them. So, but yeah, I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually clean it. Um, and that, uh, fairly confident we can fix it. I mean, you can fix everything, it just depends how much, right? So yeah. Stay tuned, see how this mess turns out. So while I've been cleaning, I took off, uh, I was gonna get the element out, but I kinda see why it maybe failed. These are just all rotted, the terminals that plug into the actual element there. Yeah. don't know if the element's bad or not. Um, but it kind of looks like grease and shit and worse you got in there. And has kind of corroded things a bit. We'll check some WD-40 in there. I'm going to see if I can unscrew some of these nuts, screws off and that. Um, we took off the panel to get into the, to replace the lead, but I won't do that just yet. To carry on cleaning it, looks like I have to take one more panel and I can get to how I can rewire all that. Won't be too hard, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, might be a bit tricky getting these off. See how corroded they are. Um, yeah, so carry on, keep on cleaning. Got that all cleaned up. Uh, these wires are kind of they're not broken, but the shielding's come off them, but the heat shielding. So I might, uh, I can, that's not a huge issue. Um, I did order another element, uh, put a new one in. Um, that does come with two new wires. That you just cut these and then put a marriott uh, um, on there to twist them together. And I'll just put another loop condition on that once I Check a bit of shielding back over that, but not an issue. It actually cleaned up pretty well. There. Okay, and as for clean, um, clean these up. I just took the, uh, it's looking a bit shabby now, but uh, the wire right from the end of the impact. There, does a pretty good job. 
way better than it was. Shit that was on there. Tray. Uh, I've cleaned up most of everything. Uh, the wood chip, pretty good. I don't think I need to do much with that. I might just run a wipe brush over that a little bit. Otherwise, this is looking a lot better. Uh, something to work with now. At least we have a not working clean smoker. I'm pretty happy with the inside. It's got to get one more wipe down. But otherwise, 100% on what it was. I've cleaned all the trays up and that. Uh, stuff. Um, so, there's a drip tray that goes under there. And I did order one of those. I got that off Master Vault site straight from them. Part number if you're looking at it, I'll put it in the description anyway. I think it was like about eight bucks American, so not too worried about that. Um, then with the feet, I thought he came off Master Ball as well. These are the round ones off a, of a later model. Um, you can get rid of those plastic pieces there. These are pretty much the same height. I think they're just a slight bit off, but I can um, pack that with a, with a washer. Just to bring it down a bit if it's just a little bit out. And then that gets rid of those two pieces. But these are... This part number there, I'll put those in the description as well. But uh, these were they're about six bucks American. So pretty good at that. Don't think I can use this bolt because it's a different model, but there's the screws off the bottom of this. So I should be able to jerry rig something up there. For now, I'm glad with that, at least we've got pretty much to the point where I can start fixing it. So Next I'll get into, probably I'll do the power cord, we'll run that through um, and just start running through it. Just say it doesn't seem like there's a lot to it, so hopefully there's not and get it up and running again. I think with this broken part here I might just get some epoxy, just uh, get another bit of plastic in here and then just epoxy it all together and sand it off, that'll do. Doesn't need to be too fancy. Uh, yeah, no, good progress. Okay, I put one of those feet on. Um, we just used, uh, didn't need to come up, so I just used a couple of metal washers. And I did have to just replace it with a longer screw. Um, these ones that didn't come out, didn't worry about them. Just broke the plastic off and cleaned up so there's no sharp edges. Um, yeah, I went in on this one. This is where I placed the uh, foot on this other side. So, so I did use an existing hole. Um, so we'll do the same. Put this one off. Do the same. You won't have all that shit protruding out. There. But no, it works. It gets rid of the other crap. Makes it simpler. So it works. So that's it with the two feet on. I ended up using three of those washers um, just to get the right height there, uh, which makes it just a little bit smidge higher than it was before. But no, it looks good. Uh, so I think that's it for the day. Make good progress. Looks 100% better than it did. It's a little like a grease factory in here, but. We should get rid of all that shit off there. Uh, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow. Uh, I think we'll work on uh, fixing the power supply. Get that reinstated. Um, maybe tackle this uh, control panel up here. Maybe, like I say, clean this up. See if I get some epoxy maybe. Let's clean this piece up. See if that's possible. Uh, um, yeah. Catch you tomorrow. We'll see how we get on. Next day. <clears throat> Next day, we are going to work on the put a new uh, cord back in. Let's cord. Let's plug it in. Um, just taking off this other panel. Uh, I found. I think it was on this one as well. They have the Phillips all the way around, and then they have two star drive. 
screws for some reason. It's just something to be aware of, they're not all the same. They have these weird two, same on this one too, they have two. I'm going to get this off and uh, see about pulling this back. And then uh, on the new cord. So we got the parts. We uh, need to replace this power cord. So we just got the insulated speed connectors. The email ones, make sure you zipped. Yeah, um, and that will work good for there. Another cord, so I didn't make it too long because you don't want because uh, it's drawing a lot of power. Longer the cord can affect the way this thing operates. So this is only like a two meter cord or a six six foot seven inch cord. Um, again, I just buy these on sale. This is a winter rated one, so if you're using you smoke rate in winter. It's not going to get all hard, I figured, but um, it was the, one of the few on sale short ones. I think I paid four bucks Canadian, so bugger all. Um, and just easier than buying cord than the plugs to put on them and so on. Uh, all I have to do here is just cut this guy off and uh, strip it back and wire it in. Much easier and cheaper, way cheaper. So. Yeah, okay, I'll get into that and then we'll show you the result. It's pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Okay, all installed, back in again. Um, done, done. Did try plugging in and gave it a little bit of a beep, so that's a good sign. Uh, everything's tucked in there. Was worried about this uh, spade terminal being too high, but you've actually got a raised piece on the panel here. So it actually sits on there okay. Um, the cord's not too long. It's good, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, so, yeah, I'll pull the covers back on and that's that part done. Then um, I might uh, I've got some uh, of the barbecue paint uh, there. I might just spray this in a, in a panel just to help stop it last a little longer. We'll just tape off these wires, tape around it, tape the holes up so it doesn't shoot through to the inside. And give it a quick spray just to help it last a little longer. Okay, so on to the next project here. Um, I figured I'd have a go just repairing this corner broken piece. This is the foot that we took off the bottom down there. I think I'm just going to use the Dremel here, cut out, work out somewhere here, a piece uh, just to fit alongside, maybe slot in there. We'll drill a hole, secure it, and then I'll glue it up just a little bit and so it sets and then we'll take this off and I'll fill it in a bit better. But yeah, just went with our black epoxy, nothing really special. I think it has a little bit of flex in it, but it was like 10 bucks Canadian. Uh, there, nothing too much. Okay, so we cut the piece out we wanted from this corner piece. Uh, there we go, like that. So we cut that out of there, out of that old foot. That. We go to the rubbish. Now yep, we've got our piece um, and that'll fit just in there. I'll put the screw in down there to hold it and then we'll run the epoxy in to hold it once it's uh, glued and set up. Then I'll take it off and fill in the extra and give it a sand and clean. It'll just clean up that hole visually. It's really all it is I think. It's more of an aesthetic thing. I think fairly easy to do so yeah I so say I'll uh, back the little screw in that goes in here to hold this piece I cut and then I'll put the epoxy on so this is where we are so far this is just the uh, first coat I put on of the epoxy uh, I webbed it across the bigger gaps um, now I'll just fill in those smaller ones I got left smooth it out a bit give it a sand good to go Okay, while well, I'm waiting for that epoxy to uh, dry there, um, 
This actually did work. Uh, the only downside is this is all broken. So I've been looking for a replacement. It's actually obsolete. Uh, so I was like kind of stumped on what I was going to do with it, if anything. Um, but I came across this guy, which is from a newer model. It has the Bluetooth. I don't know if it's the Bluetooth in it. It would be cool if it did. Because this one only had the remote, I believe. Uh, if it doesn't, no biggie. Um, so it's basically the same. The only thing is that this is words and this is symbols on its buttons. But the buttons are exactly the same. The on and off button words and on this one it's a symbol. Same with the meat probe on this guy. It's just the meat probe sim symbol there. So um, pretty much the same really. Uh, and all the buttons down here too is exactly the same, same shape, same everything like that. Um, and same connectors. I've tried it, but I haven't plugged it in yet. So I am going to try that. Okay, so I've just plugged it in briefly. This other one left is for the light there. So I'm just going to flip the power on. Uh, we got a beep. Your power. Uh, 56. This is just reading room temperature there. So we got it working. It actually does uh, hook up to Bluetooth, so that's awesome. It was an upgrade and a half. So, where this one used to use a remote, um, what I read, this one actually with this uh, new controller uh, hooks up with the Bluetooth. Just watch a YouTube video on how to set it up, and there you go. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Cool. I'm happy with that. Real happy. Onwards and upwards. Okay. Okay, that rough sand. Kind of cleaned it up. Could carry on and make it better. I'm not too worried right now. It's filled in the hole. Pretty good. A new controller all in and leave that on until I'm completely done there. Yeah. Switches on nicely, we know that it hooks up. Something right. The uh, light works awesome. Yeah. No, that was a good uh Good find. Like I said, I'll put the uh, cost and the model number for this guy, part number up, up in the description or down below if I remember the screen here. But uh, I might get the inside a little bit more clean and then I just gotta sit and wait for that element to come and then we can put the other stuff back together. That's it. Main thing is it's uh, it's running. So last night when I was uh, finishing up, I was trying to muck, I was muckering off the drip tray and then came to the realization that it was a lot deeper than the actual bottom so it wouldn't fit under. The actual one was kind of ridiculously uh, small, like it's like only that high, like three quarters of an inch high, I guess, if that's the only amount of fat that comes out, but I know something like this seems more practical. Uh, so I figure about extending the feet and so on. This is what I came up with the front legs. Uh, it's just two inch sewer pipe, drain pipe. It's two inch inside diameter. It's, it's not the one and a quarter step, but you get it, uh, it's the next size up that you get like at Home Depot on that. Yeah, let's cut it. Wash on top, put on top, it's done. Yeah. But now it's worth the work. Front one's all done up. Back on I just raised up some extensions and across the top here. Pretty simple. Uh, 
rather than me having to push around, get another trip tray. So while I was waiting uh, for the element to come, just trying to work out why. I know the uh, this probably sat, sat outside quite a bit in its life, and we had the buns here that were corroded on the other one, or kept giving out. And these ones are still okay. I wondered if the uh, heat when you opened the door just came up and kind of baked those a little bit too much, and that. Um, so what I might do, I had a bit of um, angle steel here. It came off uh, left over from my shelves. This one's a bit blunted, but I figured if I cut a length of it, the width of the actual smoker, and then just like screwed it to the front there, just as a deflector. Just spray it with uh, the barbecue paint that I left over there, black, and then just screw it to the front of the plastic here, and just use some of the uh, same kind of uh, high temp uh, gasket glue there that we're going to use for when we put the element uh, cover back on the back. But just uh, run this along the front a little bit, and then screw or bolt this to the front just as a deflector. Just to help that last a little longer. So I'm just going to finish off my modification to the front control area here. Uh, I got this um, reflective heat shield. It's usually for like mufflers and so on. Uh, if we can see that. But yeah, I'm just going to cut a piece, a length of it. Just Length of it there, just slide it in so it sits like right under here, and basically just help reflect the heat away from the control area. So I'll stick it under and then up as well, so it kind of protects the uh, or reflects a lot of the heat. Hopefully, is the plan. Um, doesn't hurt to try. So yeah, I'll cut that and we'll show you what it looks like in. So we cut this piece. The reflective side on this side, just heat away, and then just slide it up. Once the control is in, we'll just fold the back up, crease it there, and uh, put the, the panel back on here. The wires can just slip over the front edge here, and just twist it over. Actually, no, I might be able to go under. Either way, make sure the wires go under and in. <clears throat> I think it'll help. So you're in a place of where it, uh, the heat just rises right up, so where the old oven was. I think between just being outside and getting a lot of heat from the uh, smoker there, it's just chewed it out. So hopefully that helps fix it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cut it, stuck it in, so it's thin enough just to fit under the actual control there. The screws go through the reflective, and the wires will just come out the edge here. Uh, I may just pop a hole through somewhere there just because of where they are here, but that shouldn't be a biggie. But yeah, that should just fold up there and kind of help protect the actual control panel a little better we think so yeah we'll wrap that up and get it back on and get it back together wouldn't even know uh, hopefully that helps it time will tell okay new elements in just lined it up to show you the uh, so same same there, just a little bit of, yeah, those terminals at the end, the toast, you look at the new guys there, so it was worth, I think, getting a new one, uh, let me check that, recycling, recycling, let's check that, uh, so what comes with it, the uh, ones on Amazon only came with the element, and I think the screws, Maybe some wires. Uh, this one I like because it comes with the new 
I mean, this was well, fourteen dollars US, and then depending on shipping, we yeah, are. If you're in the states, it was, I think it was free. Uh, for me, it was a few bucks to ship up here. Um, but I like this better. So Amazon just gives you that and some wires. This kit came with replacement uh, rubber gasket there that goes inside the little compartment there, and then this guy that sits between the element and the actual uh, smoker. Then it has the nuts that go to the washers, to the element, wires, merits, and a tea drink. It's quite large, which is kind of odd that you'd need. Oh, I guess so. Oh, that's different. Yeah, they're going to go with those, I think. Yeah, it's the only thing I think of. It seems rather large. It wouldn't even crimp down on the wire to put those together. And you've got these merits to put together. On these, so uh, I think it's yeah to go over these ends here. Oh. That's a nice surprise. A little extra, a little extra. I'll have a look at the instructions. Yeah, and this other thing they actually give you instructions if you're unsure what you're doing. So yeah, I'll whack it in. Um, and show you, it's pretty simple. They say just put it back through the holes. Oh, that way, sorry. And then uh, yeah, nuts on the back on. The opposite side over the back here, screw to duty, wire it back up again, and then yeah, I guess we'll test it. I was reading on the masterboard some of the manuals and that, um, how they recommend doing like a spring kind of burn or whatever you want to call it uh, when you before you go use it. So I mean that would be kind of smart in this case, just clean off all the shit, any residue from cleaners and that on the inside. Um, so I'll just read up on that and that's probably what I'll do and then we'll see if we can cook something in it Yeah, we'll get this in and This is where we'll use that red gasket uh, heat glue again That one's kind of a little bit shut. It's got a hole in. I think I'll put some goop on that Yeah Just to help Clean that up a bit and I'll put it back together Okay, so it's all installed um, I've tested it out. She uh, works nicely. This is how it kind of looks tucked in. Um, just where they put those wires. I guess I'll just fold them up like this in there. Uh, I didn't end up using these big heat shrinks. I'm not too sure what they're used for, but I did put some heat shrink along to sort of bond these two wires together. They go up to the merits there um, just to help it. So yeah, we'll put the back on, and that's her. Next thing is just to burn her off and then cook something. So yeah, then we'll try that uh, this weekend. Get that done. Just gonna try some ribs, something basic, nothing too crazy. Yeah, so yeah, I'll get the back on and then we're done. Uh, if you're wondering where we got the parts from, it's the uh, appliance factory. Let's see that, Ooh, we're over there. That's better focused. Um, not pretty reasonable priced. Uh, we've got the part number here as well. If you can, need to focus here. Uh, yeah, but you can always look up the part number and buy your model. And it's pretty simple to do. So instructions with it. Can't really screw it up, but you never know. There's those kind of people out there. So yeah, work that back on and yeah, and then we'll uh, probably do a burn off uh, tomorrow to get all the residue and shit out of it. And then we can, we'll cook something. Okay, so it's Saturday morning, or Saturday lunchtime actually. So got this all going. Um, got chips in there. Found I did have to wet them down because, or well, maybe I put too many in there. We did catch fire a little bit, which I think Someone did see a problem with that happening, but I think it's just putting less chips in as well. Um, but I have soaked these a little bit, not too much, so I still get a lot of smoke. Um, but the ribs, so let those sit overnight in the seasoning. So yeah, chuck them in. Uh, sit it on, it's just getting up to temperature now. I'll we'll leave them in there for, for three hours. See how it goes. Okay, so. We've had them for three hours. We are obviously on to step two of the three to one method. Um, and it's been working really well. 
Uh, yeah, a little oversized in our hair of the drip tray is working well. Um, we did have the initial bit of a fire there, but that was my fault for dumping too much in initially, too many wood chips in. Um, so, but after that, I wasn't dumping as much, and it's been working really well. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna whack these in for another two hours and carry on. Otherwise, yeah, it's working really well. Um, the app is working well. Uh, just be monitoring from inside how the temps are going. Um, yeah, but no, carry on. And hopefully, have some dinner tonight. Okay, on to the last hour. You can see those are looking awesome. The smoker is working awesome and everything is going awesome. So, yeah, up to last hour and then we can actually eat something. But now everything's been going good. So, carry on. So, yeah, that's the result of it. Came out pretty well. Uh, everything seemed to work really well in there. Um, yeah, I'll leave uh, in the description uh, below there, I'll uh, put all the parts for the controller and so on, parts I used there. I think this worked really well. This is bigger than it's kind of bigger. Just carry a little bit more in it. Um, no, good first uh, trial of it. So yeah, I'm off for dinner now and uh, try these. Uh, I'll leave links to the recipes I used for this. Uh, the sauce we used was a, a Guinness based sauce, um, the rub. Uh, I'll just leave a link to it. You can check it out. Um, yeah, I'm off for dinner now and yeah, no, I'm pretty happy with all that. So like, subscribe if you want to see more and we'll catch you later.